3, 2, 1, go! Hello guys, welcome to Rampa Abyss Beyblade and today we are going to compare the Guilty Longinus Flame Brand Beyblade with Takara Tomy Guilty Longinus. So let's look at the box first. So the box is the same size as the Takara Tomy one but the Flame Brand is wider as you guys can see here and it seems that they included the Louis Shirosagi Beyblade Launcher. So this is the Takara Tomy WBBA Limited Edition BBB Launcher of Louis Shirosagi. And I think this is the one that they copied and at included in the Flame Brand Guilty Longinus. They have the L gear in the box but let's see. I think they don't have the L gear in included in this Flame Brand Guilty Longinus. So almost the same design of the box. Side view is the parts of the Guilty Longinus. Flame Brand versus Takara Tomy. Other side is the high mode and low mode and the back of the box is almost the same but the flame brand the Guilty Longinus have this warning, choking hazards and other stuff. Parts are Longinus for the DB core, Guilty for the DB blade, 2 for the armor, Karma and Metal Destroy Driver. So without further ado, let's open the box. Okay so let's open the box and see the content of this one. There you go. Hold on. There's still tape here. There you go. There you go. If using any sharp objects like a uh, cutter, make sure you have your parents with you or you have an adult supervision because these are really sharp and you might get hurt. Okay, so there you go. Box there. This is the DB Bay Launcher. Let's look at it very quickly. Okay, so this is the L and this is the right for the Takara Tomy. Okay, of course, I think the string of the Takara Tomy is longer as you guys can see. It's uh, longer and it will return very fast for the flame brand. Let's put this one here first. Okay right, guys, so here is the stickers of the flame brand. Guilty Longinus. There you go. Okay, let's look at the Guilty Longinus Flame Brand Beyblade now. Okay guys, so here is the Flame Brand Guilty Longinus parts and this one is the Takara Tomy Guilty Longinus parts. Let's compare the parts one by one now. Okay guys, so this is the Flame Brand Longinus DB Core and this one is the Takara Tomy Longinus DB Core. As you guys can see, the color of the blue part in the flame brand is a little bit faded and the one from the Takara Tomy is darker. And as you guys can see, the flame brand is again using the shiny metal and the Takara Tomy one is now a little bit dark because we are using it very frequently. There you go. Side comparison. I really like the color or the paint job from the Takara Tomy and as you guys can see the screws from the Takara Tomy is this one unlike from the flame brand which is using this screws so there you go can we still look at it very closely anyway there you go side comparison Longinus DB Core flame brand versus Takara Tomy okay so this one is the flame brand guilty blade and this one is the Takara Tomy guilty blade as you guys can see, the Takara Tomy have the stickers on it now. And the metal is, as we discussed earlier, the metal used by Flame Brand is very shiny. There you go, side comparison and then the other side. So there's the screws, dragon heads. Is this made of metal? Oh, it's very deep, unlike from Takara Tomy. This one is actually plastic and then this one is metal. And just like from the Takara Tomy, this one is metal. Hold on. Okay, metal, metal. And then this one should be made of plastic. Side view. There you go. So I guess they copied the blueprint of the Takara Tomy one. Let's compare the weight later. Okay guys, so this is the Flame Brand 2 Armor. And this one is the Takara Tomy 2 Armor. There you go. Originally, it was uh, from Dynamite Belial, the first DB Beyblade. 
but from that guilty longinus they use the same armor so there you go the color of the metal used by flame brand is a little bit weird for me but as you guys can see they are almost the same there you go okay guys so this is the flame brand karma disc and this one is the takara tomi karma disc so there you go they are almost the same let's look at the side okay there you go let's look at the side i mean the bottom okay let's await them later and see which one is heavier okay guys so this is the flame brand metal destroy driver and this one is the takara tomi metal destroy driver so let's look at them side by side first and then let's see and compare the pre-spinning part and the metal parts there you go so metal lock this is the one from the takara tomi and this one is the flame brand metal destroy okay that's a little bit weird and the takara tomi locks or spring is tighter based on my feel let's see the gimmick so as you guys can see metal destroy the destroy drivers have this pre-spinning parts pre-spinning part okay so the rotation or the spinning of this pre-spinning part from the flame brand is not that smooth the spin okay there you go let's compare the weights now okay guys again this is the flame brand guilty longinus and this one is the takara tomi guilty longinus db core flame brand hold on is 10.1 10.1 flame brand takara tomi db core is 10 so the flame brand is heavier this is the guilty blade from flame brand 17.1 Takara Tomi Guilty Blade is 16.9 So again, the flame brand is heavier 2 armor flame brand is 13.5 Takara Tomi 2 armor is 13.6 So 13.6, this one is 13.5 the, the Takara Tomi is a little bit uh, heavier this time Karma from flame brand 30.4 Karma from Takara Tomi 29.1 29 this one is heavier 30.4 okay metal destroy flame brand is 7.7 .7, while the metal destroy from takara tomi is 8.8 .8. so takara tomi is heavier let's now build the full combo and compare the weight okay guys so takara tomi guilty longinus beyblade is the total weight is 78.6 flame brand guilty longinus is 78.9 so as you guys can see the guilty longinus flame brand is heavier so there you go and by the way i just have this is a common issue for non takara tomi beyblades it is very hard to disassemble and assemble the flame brand like for example if you are going to remove the parts like like this it's really hard to remove the parts it's not even <laughs> It's not even getting removed now. Hold on. I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. And it's really hard to put the armor and the DB core. It's now not even re getting removed. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's look at them closely now. Okay, guys. Guilty Longinus Takara Tomi versus Guilty Longinus Flame Brand. So there you go, side by side comparison. Flame brand versus Takara Tomi Guilty Longinus. There you go. Here's the look at the disc and drivers. Let's do some test pin and test bottles now. Let's do it. Okay, guys, Takara Tomi Guilty Longinus versus Flame brand Guilty Longinus. Let's do a test pin first. Okay, so this one is the Takara Tomi Guilty Longinus. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go! There you go. I really like the sound of the Guilty Longinus from Takara Tomi. 
Okay, let's do the plain brand guilty longinus now. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. So this one is the one from the plain brand. The sound is a little bit weird, but there you go. Guilty longinus plain brand. Okay, let's do the test battles now. Let's do ten rounds. Okay, Takara Tomi versus Flame Brand Guilty Longinus. Ready? Three, two, one, go. There you go. They're both circling around the stadium, but they will battle now in the center. There you go. Oh, nice hit. And the winner for the survivor finish is the Takara Tomi Guilty Longinus. One, zero. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. That was a quick ring out. Actually, that's not quick. That was a ring out finish. Winner is the Takara Tomi Guilty Longinus. Two, zero. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Finish. Winner is the Takara Tomi. Ring out, right? Or uh, survivor? I think it returned, right? <laughs> so 3 0. Takara Tomi. Okay, ready? 3 2 1. Go. <laughs> okay, the Guilty Longinus Flame brand went out, of, went out of the stadium and returned. But we will not count that one. Okay, ready? 3 2 1. Go. <laughs> That was a simultaneous ring out finish. 3, 0, 1. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. We just hit the Tomi, it went here. So, ring out finish winner is the Takara Tomi. 4, 0, 1. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Finish winners the Takara Tomi Guilty Longinus uh, 501. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Nice. Oh, winners the Flame Brand Guilty Longinus 511. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, 611 winner is the Takara Tomi Guilty Longinus. Okay, ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Oh! Burst! Oh! Burst! Oh man, it was able to burst. Ah. The... Takara Tomi, that is uh, 6 2 1. Winner is the Flame Brand Guilty Longinus. Are you ready? 3 2 1, go. Oh! Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys. So, the guilty Longinus. I think I'm still missing the other parts. The guilty Longinus flame brand actually uh, broke in the battle. There's metals here, right? So, there you go. This is the aftermath of the battle. By the way, I'm not sure what happened in, in the last round, but the points before the last round is 7-1-1, right? 7-1-1. And it actually broke, guys. Seriously. And that is one reason 
why you should not buy Nantakara Tomy Beyblades uh, except of course Hasbro, Hasbro because non-authentic uh, Beyblade products have very poor quality because as you guys can see we just opened and unboxed this one and then after just 10 rounds of battle with Guilty Longinus it actually broke oh man seriously Oh man, I wanted to do more battles with other Beyblades but it seems that we cannot do that anymore It, uh, The Guilty Longinus Takara Tomy destroyed the flame brand Guilty Longinus Okay guys <laughs> That's all for our video Thank you guys for watching, you are awesome uh, like the video, comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more Beyblade contents like this one. Thank you guys for watching. You are awesome. Bye-bye.